Hi everyone, so in today's quick video I'm going to be making a little gift card holder for you. Now some of you may remember back in October I did a card making craft along and basically on my desk I've had this little tray with all these little bits in that you can see here and I've been dipping in, in and out of it over the last couple of months and making cards and then I was going through it the other night and I came across the poinsettias. So this is the poinsettia petals dies. This is carrying over into our annual catalogue. The images that are on the front at, are at about 65%. The, um, there's quite a lot of stamps in this set so, and they, they are actually quite big. So the images on the front look a lot smaller. So this is the Merry Christmas. I've already got it here, as I say, this was part of the bits and pieces in that tray that I'd stamped and embossed in silver. I've got some bits of poinsettia, some holly leaves, a couple of the can of sprigs in grey and pink and a bit of a vellum berry. All these are all from the poinsettia dies and then the stamp is, the greeting is from the stamp set. So. I'm going to make a gift card holder. So usually each year I do some form of a gift card holder on my channel. Sometimes it's a stamping up one, sometimes it's a scan and cut one. So I'm going to be using one piece of Whisper White A4 cardstock for the actual holder itself. And then I've got another piece of Whisper White which I'm going to do some die cutting with and I'm also going to emboss it. So I'm going to die cut the largest of these shapes, which is from the stitched nested label dies. And I'm going to be using the Suttles embossing folder to emboss it. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the shape out. And when you use these dies, not only will it cut out the shape that I want, it will leave a stitched effect in the negative that's left behind so you can use that then as a frame so there it is all cut out and then as I say you get the negative left behind that you could use as a frame on a card so I'm going to pop that back into the box with all the other bits and pieces and now I'm going to emboss this shape using the subtles embossing folder so I'm just going to pop that in and this is a 3d folder so I I label them so I know what I you know what sandwich I need to do for my machine so this says I need an a and a b and that's how it looks not sure how well you'll see it it is very very subtle you can still see the stitching but it's just got a little bit of an embossed effect and that's going to be where I'm going to stick the gift card. So that's the only reason I've done that really, just to give it a little bit of interest. So it's just not a plain piece of white card. So I'm just going to put all the elements on one side for now. And then it's now time to actually make the base card. And this gift card holder acts as a card and a gift card holder. And it will fit into a regular UK C6 envelope. So I'm going to bring in my Simply Scoreboard and I'm going to score this piece of card in half both ways, so on the long side and on the short side. So it measures eight and one quarter, so I'm going to score it at four and one eighth, straight down the middle. And then I'm going to turn it on the long side and it measures 11 and 5 eighths so I'm going to score it at 5 and 7 eighths that should be about the middle I'm going to turn it over this is the side I've just embossed on so I'm just going to turn it over bring in my bone folder and just fold it in half and burnish it on both of those score lines and it should line up the RUK eight and a half by uh, A4 is slightly different than the US eight and a half by 11 
So I'm just going to manipulate it both ways. So in the portrait position, I'm now going to fold in this corner and this corner. Now, if you want to score it, you can do. I'm just going to do it by eye. So I'm basically just going to bring it over until this point meets this score line and it's kind of on that score line at the top there. I'm just going to turn it round to me just to make it a little bit easier and I'm going to burnish. Okay, and then I'm going to do exactly the same at the bottom. So I'm just going to ease up the cardstock until this point meets the fold line and then this should be on your fold line here at the bottom if it's all lined up. I'm just going to turn it round, it's a little bit easier if I do it this way and I'm going to crease and if you're off a little bit don't worry it doesn't matter. So I'm going to re-burnish all those fold lines. I'm going to fold it up in half and then fold it over. And as I say, if you, you know, your card's moving a little bit or if you've gone a little bit too close to the score line, then, you know, it might not fold as easy. You could do this with designer series paper. I'm just using Whisper White regular, to be honest here. I'm not using the thick because I think it would be really difficult if you used the thick Whisper White. And then I'm just going to fold it over and try and line it all up again. You do have to kind of, you know, manipulate it into position because you've got four layers of card. But if you keep, you know, if you take your time and keep burnishing, then you should be okay. So now basically you've got a card that opens and then you've got a pocket on the front here, which you can glue down if you want to. I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue around here just to stick this down and then that will hold everything else in place. Then I'm just going to fold it back over, line it up and fold it over and just as I say, just keep creasing it. It will, you know, bend in easier the more you work with it. As I say, you can do this in designer series paper and it probably wouldn't be as thick, but I wanted to do mine in Whisper White card. So obviously this is now where you can write your greeting. This is the front of your card that I'm going to decorate. This is going to pop in here. You can add a little bit of glue onto this edge if you want to. I might pop a little bit of wet glue just in there just to hold it together. I've had a belly band around this. You could do anything. I'm just going to bring some scrap in and just hold that down in case the glue comes out. Our Tombow multi-purpose glue um, you know, dries pretty quickly. So. so as I say, this bit now that I embossed is the bit that's going to slide inside the pocket and that's going to hold your gift card. Now, I've not got a gift card handy, but what I have got is one of my Disney activation cards, which is about the same size. So basically what I would do, I'd put a little glue dot on here or if you've got any of our multi-purpose glue, the one I've just used, if you put a little tiny dot onto the die cut and let it dry before you put anything at all on it, it becomes repositionable. So once it's dry, you could then put your gift card on there and then slide that into the front pocket. And that's your, like, your little gift card holder.
got my greeting, which I've already, as I say, stamped, you know, several months ago. I think I am going to trim this down just a little. I'm just going to pop it into my little guillotine because that's just handy. And just give this a quick trim. I'm not going to cut anything off the length at the minute because I might want to flag or banner the ends or something. I'm not sure. I'm just going to narrow it down a little bit. So I'm thinking that this is going to go on the front here. And then I've got all these bits and pieces. So I'm going to layer up my flower. So this is from the poinsettia dies. So I've got two of the little ones, which I'm just going to stick together flat and just offset them slightly. So our Tombow multi-purpose glue, if you use it like this, it bonds permanently and instantly. But if you apply it and leave it before you put anything on it, then it becomes repositionable. I'm going to get a little dimensional if I've got a small one. And I'm going to use one of our mini white dimensionals in the middle of this big poinsettia. And then I'm just going to lay this smaller one on top. And then I'm going to work out where I'm having my greeting and where I'm having my flower. And then I'm going to start tucking in the other elements. I think I'll stick the greeting down. And actually, I was going to flag the end, but I think I'll just stick it down and trim it. So I'll use some Tombow, being as though I've got it out. And just position this across like so. Got a little bit of dried glue, I think, on my card there, but I'll be able to hide it with the dimensionals. So I'm just going to trim that piece off and get rid of it. And then I'm going to put the poinsettia on. Now I'm going to pop the poinsettia up on some dimensionals because I want to tuck the other elements in behind it. So I've got one of the big ones here. So I'm just going to pop that like so. And then I'm just going to start gluing these in behind. So I'm going to stick the holly leaves down flat. And then I'll see what I'm going to do with the other ones. I'm not sure yet. They may go down flat as well. But this is a, you know, a fairly quick little project. And it's just a nice way to give a gift card. So let's see where these are going to go. So I've got a pink and a grey to get in somewhere. And I actually like to layer these up. I think they look nicer if they're layered up. And it doesn't matter if they overlap this element of the card because your um, holder's going to be in there. So let's just see where this will go. I'm going to pop the vellum in there. And on the vellum, I'm going to use some of our tape runner because it will just help the vellum grab a bit quicker. And then these I'm going to layer up. I think I'll put the pink one in first. Pop that one in, just hold it down for a few seconds. And then I'm going to pop the grey. I might just trim this little bit off the end just to make it a little bit shorter. Pop the grey in behind like so. And then just hold that down for a few minutes. Just going to bring in a few bits of... Bling. I'll just use our basic rhinestone gems, which I use an awful lot. I'm going to pop one, one of the bigger ones 
in the middle of the poinsettia like so and I might just add a couple of little ones just scattered on the card. You're supposed to do threes aren't you? So for odd numbers at least. And then, like I say, you just pop your gift card on here. And then that just slots in the slot like so. And then you've got your card where you can stamp your gre another greeting or write your words. So that's it. What do you think? Let me try and zoom in. So that's today's quick gift card project. So I hope you like the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. There'll be links to all the products that I've used underneath the video and in the accompanying blog post, which there's also a link under the video to my website and blog. And if you do want to buy any of the, these products, you can purchase them from my Stampin' Up! shop. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.